Hello everyone. In this video, I will guide you how you can create a production process on Transact. So to create a production process, you need to go in production module. You will get our production module on your left hand side. Click on production module. Now, here is the production process option and here is the create process option through which you can create a production process. Always do remember that to create a production process, you need to create a bill of material first, the entire recipe, that how that particular production will get created. So once you have created the BOM, you need to click on create process. Now here you can uh, just type the item name or item ID. So in my case, I will simply type Glow Wolf 2 mm Once you select it, please check. Here is the BOM number, document series. These are all coming. You can use customized document number format to change the document series number, the production ID, process ID basically. Here uh, it will ask, please check, the BOM will be auto -fished. If there will be no BOM created, it will ask you to create BOM. It will ask how much quantity you want to produce. So in this, I will put 10. Reference number is for internal use case. You can add it as per your requirement. FG store, RM store and scrap store you can select. So in the scrap store, I will select main reject store. Uh, while creating the production process, you can use download template and can uh, create a production process through Excel file as well. So these feature also we do have. Now here is the select stage. So if I will go in select stage, please check. It is asking that uh, should I or do I want to create the process or publish the process or bulk issue RM and FG or bulk issue and approve inventory. So I can very well go ahead and make the selection as per my requirement and accordingly the production process will get changed. So like suppose if I'm going ahead and just uh, clicking on bulk issue and approve inventory, the production process in production process, the raw material issue and approval of inventory will auto done. So uh, as of now, we will go ahead with the create process. Click on this, click on submit. Now my production process is created and it is in plan. What I need to uh, do next, I need to go ahead and publish this production process in order to take next action. So I will click on other action and publish it. Now my production process is ready to use and I can very well go ahead and take it to the next step by issuing the material. So I hope this particular video will be helpful to you while creating production process. Have a good day ahead.